All right, so let's do some metric conversions. Uh, I, I redid just sort of a shorter version of our table. Um, and you're gonna want this to be handy when you're doing these. Um, so let's just put an example up here and we'll kind of talk through how to do it. Um, you know, once we've sort of seen the steps, we should be able to go a little faster with the rest of our examples. So let's convert. Um, 2,250 centimeters into meters, right? So let's maybe stick with a unit we might be a little bit more familiar with, uh, centimeters and meters. We sort of said the, the rate here should be a 100 to one. So there are 100 centimeters for every one meter. So one option is to kind of use that as a reference and sort of set this up in the same way that we did 6.4. I'm sorry, 6.3, did the American conversion setting up sort of a uh, 2250 centimeters over one multiplied by, right, one meter over 100 centimeters and, and do the division. Um, what I'll say here in this case is it's actually, you know, this is going to amount to, so we said 100 centimeters per every one meter, right? So in theory, you could sort of do a division by 100 and be good to go. Um, what I'll say is we can actually sort of correlate the move here. If I'm multiplying or dividing by 100, it's, it's really just a decimal shift. And the connection here is your decimal shift for the conversion is in sync with the unit shift on the table, right? So if we go up to the table here, and the idea is I'm trying to convert from centimeters into meters. So my centimeters are here, right? My base units, meters, liters, or grams would be here. And so on the table, that would amount to shifting two places to the right. So on the table, shift is two to the right. And so what that means for my unit conversion is I'm just gonna take 2250 and I'm gonna shift my decimal twice to the right and match it. So for us, this is 2250, you know, in theory, right, point zero. And so the idea is I'm going to take this and I'm going to shift my decimal. Oh my gosh, I said right. I'm sorry, I misspoke. We're, we're moving to the left, right? Centimeters is here. We're moving two to the left. That's embarrassing. Got you guys yelling at your screens again. Don't you mean left? Don't you mean left? I definitely mean left. Yes, we're, we're, we're shifting, right? up in my units, right, from centimeters so to deci to the base. Count the shifts, don't count the number of units you touch, right? So it's once to deci and then once again to the base unit. The base unit counts as a shift if we have to cross it, which, which we'll do in some other examples, you're gonna have to count that. Um, in any event, this is shifting twice to the left, which means for us that I'm gonna sort of count one, two decimal shifts, and so this becomes 22.5, I mean, in theory, 0 0.50 um, meters, but of course, I'd probably just write that as 22.5 meters, right? I don't, I, 0.50, I don't need those extra zeros uh, in the decimal places necessarily. So rather than actually like really do a setup like we were doing in 6.3 and then do the division, it's just this shift. And of course, uh, <laughs> if I wasn't, confusing my left and my right, uh, it would have gone even faster. Um, let's take another example. And, and the idea is this works across all of the different units. So this is the same kind of setup, not just for the meters, but also the liters and the grams. So maybe I have um, 1.75 kilograms, right? And I wanna convert it into grams. So, that is right kilo kind of hecto 
deca, right, and then grams. So that would be, whoops, a shift of three to the right. Right, going through our table, I can kind of mark that at right. Kilo, we're going one, two, three to the right to get from a kilo down to a, a regular gram. Um, so that's the move I'm gonna do with my decimal. I've got, right, the decimal here between the one and the seven. So I'm just gonna shift it, one, two, and then three. That means I'll, I'll throw in another zero, right? In theory, there are as many zeros as I need there on the end, no problem. Um, and so my new value is, uh, what, 1,750 grams, right? Mathematically, what I've done is I've, I've multiplied by 1,000, which it makes sense. There are 1,000 grams for every kilogram, right? So if you, if you write out the conversion, that's how it would look. Um, but we can get there just with this unit shift, just sort of counting the shifts on the table gets us there just like that, that was a snap. Um, let's throw a few more on here. We could sort of do this again, um, jumping from you know any of these units to any of the others, either meters to meters, liters to liters, or grams to grams, right, within the system. We didn't do any liters yet. Let's do, well, I don't know, 305 deciliters. Let's convert that into hectoliters, maybe. Some of these are units, you, again, you don't see tons and tons. Um, uh, so this is right, kilo, hecto, deca, base, and then deci, centi, milli, right? That's our system. Um, so we're going deci to hecto. So deci is here. Hecto is here, that's gonna be one, two, three moves left. So the units get bigger, which means our value gets smaller, right? We kind of get less and less of the thing. We'll throw our decimal on here, right? 305.0, and then we're going three to the left. One, two, three. So we end up with the decimal in front of the three. So this is then zero point 305 hectoliters. <sighs> hectoliters, not a super common unit. Some of these are a little bit more common than others. Uh, I feel like deca and hecto, I, I don't hear about tons and tons, uh, or, or deci if I'm being honest. Uh, kilo and centi and milli in the base units. At least for me, oh man, yeah. those are the ones I hear about the most. Um. Gosh, is this getting redundant to do any more? Let's maybe do just like one or two more. Let's do like a big one. Let's go from like, um, maybe we went, you know, 0.35 kilometers. Let's convert that all the way down to like centimeters or something, right? Let's really like span, uh, you know, go almost all the way across. So kilo, hecto, deca through the base, Deci, centi, and then milli, right? So my conversion from kilometers down to centimeters, kilometers here, centimeters, almost all the way at the end. So that's one, two, three to get to the base, four, five to get down to centimeters. So that's five to the right. That's gonna get a lot bigger, right? I'm gonna go 0 0.35. So I'm going one, two over the three, five, and then three, four, five. So I gotta throw on one, two, three more zeros. So where am I gonna end up? 35, so one, two, three zeros, 35,000 centimeters. Pretty good, pretty good example of, uh, you know, the perspective the different units can give you, right? If you're saying, oh, I have to, uh, you know, walk, whatever, 0.35 kilometers, uh, in some sense that just doesn't sound super, super far, maybe, right? You know, uh, a little more than a quarter of a kilometer. 
not super far, but if somebody said I have to walk 35,000 centimeters, just because the, the number is 35,000, it makes it sound like it's very, very, very far. But the unit, right, is a centimeter. Uh, one centimeter is very tiny, so everything is everything is kind of relative. Um, let's do one more. Let's do a real tiny one going up to a bigger one, right? That was a big down to a small. Let's do, oh, I know. How about six million? 280 milligrams. Let's convert that up into decagrams. Why not, right? So we'll do a really, really, really big number, but of course it's for our smallest, uh, the smallest volume, or I'm sorry, the smallest mass unit that we're working with. Um, we'll go up to deca, subkilo, hecto, deca, there's our one base unit in the middle. Don't forget the base unit. Deci, centi, and milli is where we're starting. So we're going milligrams up to decagrams. That's going to be one, two, three to the base, and then four. So that's four to the left. That means for us, six million, two eighty. Yada. So we're going one, two, three, four. So that gets the decimal between the eight and the zero. So that's going to become for us 628.0, right? I mean, that's just 628 decagrams. And that's where we'll stop. Um, so that's kind of our big three, right? That is length and volume and mass. Um, I'm gonna do one more short video after this because we can do metric conversions for area as well. So we can do sort of squared centimeters into square meters or any other kind of variation. Uh, but I wanna talk about that separate. So I'll see you in that video.